family it is your big sis t renee and i am back again with another story time but before we get to the story y'all make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know that you're here hey girl hey what's up big sis all of that is greatly appreciated if you are a returning viewer or a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for being loyal and if you have yet to subscribe i'm hoping that one day you find a reason to subscribe and if you're new welcome Please come back and possibly subscribe. Y'all, let's get into the story time. I'm sure you all have seen the title. And yes, I'm going to be talking about some... Yes, I'm going to be talking about some totally different... I'm not going to be talking about these old grimy old men that I've dealt with in my past. But I'm going to be talking about a toxic friend. I'm sure we all have had some toxic, jealous-ass friends, y'all. No matter how old we get... We're going to always have somebody that's envious of your life, whether you are very successful or whether you're very low key and you do things just that you find are basic, but it may be a little amplified to other people. It's because, you know, a lot of times they're dealing with their own insecurities and so they, so they will try to project their insecurities on you and those around them me personally i do not take well to being around somebody that's always negative like again y'all i'm gonna say it again i've said it several times i am the cutoff queen if i feel uncomfortable around you or if i feel you just full of crap i'm gonna cut you out my life with no issue but for some reason with this particular person i guess I felt some type of pity on them. And it's, and it's probably because they were lying to me most of the time. <laughs> so, and maybe, like they say, somebody lies so much that they get so deeply buried in their lies that they don't know how to get out their lies and they start to believe them. So we're going to say that's what that was for her. But anyway, the female that I'm talking about, y'all, is none other than Bird. Yes, I gave y'all a little snippet about Bird when we took that girl's trip to New Orleans. Oh, anyway, so yes, let's get into this. Okay, like I've mentioned, Bird is a little younger than me, which that doesn't mean anything. And if you vibe, you vibe. A bun is a bun, and we had a great bun, you know, up until whatever, however it ended between us. So yeah, um, I met Bird back when we was working at this company together. Um, she just start clinking. Like I said, the younger generation just clinks to me. She just We just got really close out of nowhere. Like, it was just, we worked in the same area. We just got really close. We started hanging out, going to eat and drink and, you know, stuff like that. I'm not a big clubby person and she's not really either. Yeah, I did all that <laughs> years ago. Like, I partied so much before I was even legal to go party. Because in my city back in that time when I was a teenager... They had clubs for teenagers. So we party back when we was in junior high and high school. They had different events when we were in junior high school. And it was basically in a club. You know, you had like different clubs that would throw parties. Um, you know, like school clubs. Like there was these like sorority fraternities that they had in junior high for junior high and high school kids and like somebody would host a big event and just throw different parties we would win different events for like spring it was just stuff like that it was so much for us to do i mean even the, they had so many clubs for us as adults in our city back in the day but anyway it don't really matter so yeah um i party and i i didn't care to do that i don't care to do that like that I may do it when I go out the country. I'm out the country. I don't care. I don't know them. They don't know me. Shit. I'm, I'm, I'm out the country. It don't matter. But I don't do that too quick back, back in the U.S. <laughs> Unless I probably go to Miami or something. But I ain't been there so long. But anyway, you know. So, yeah. Um, we would do stuff like that. We got really close. You know, she started calling me her big sis. You know, that's cool. I do have a sister that's probably a year younger than me. But, Yeah. This is my friend, and you know, you know how your friends be. You be a little different. Things be a little different with your friends. You 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 hang out a little different sometimes with your friends. You know, everybody don't have the same type of relationship with their siblings that they may have with their friends. It's just it's different. Not saying you're not close with your siblings, but the relationships be kind of different with your friends. Y'all, this your friend, y'all have y'all relationship, and this is your siblings, and y'all have y'all relationships. And if y'all all hang together, that's cool too. But it wasn't. That's 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 not the issue. 
okay, like I said, Bird was such a liar. She didn't lie about anything to me. And it's like she didn't even realize that I knew that she would be lying because she'll say one thing to somebody else and they'll come say some stuff to me probably not realizing that me and her have never talked about that. They're like, oh, yeah, I heard your girl. She, she funny. I'm like, she what? Yeah, she... I'm like, oh, I'll say, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, right. I would play it off because... I wanted to know all the tea that I didn't even know. Like, she having these private conversations with people, and I'm supposed to be her big sister. She tell me everything. I ain't asking you to tell me, but you're telling me your business. But you're telling them something else, and I don't even know that. So, yeah, I played it cool. Like, I ain't know the, like I knew the tea that was always given to me. And the crazy thing is, she didn't even know I know. So, I just used to keep it. I'm not the type of person to hold things over your head, but... Baby, if I need to. <laughs> but baby, if I need to, I got bullets and I'm ready to use them. <laughs> Can I say it on? But it don't matter. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> but we gonna probably cut that out. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Toxic as hell, y'all. So I end up planning this trip for my birthday one year, y'all. Yeah, my birthday was it. My birthday is in January, January 27th, um, to be exact. And so I plan a trip for my birthday year. And this is the first time that I was gonna plan one and have like a little girls trip for my birthday. Cause I'm like I said, I'm not big on girl groups, and not because some trip ruined it. I'm just not big on hanging out with most of the girls. But this is gonna be my best friend, and it was gonna be Bird. We're not gonna give my best friend a name at this time, but yeah, we're gonna definitely just talk about Bird. So, um, I finally introduced, even though I had been hanging out with Bird for a while, my best friend, like, our shifts were different. She worked at the same company with us, too, but this particular year, we had different shifts, and my best friend, no, she, yeah, she wasn't, she had recently had another baby. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the problem, it's just that. She wasn't out as much, so, you know. And, and like I said, our shifts were different, so when we got a chance to hang out, it probably was when we was off or some stuff like that. She, Like I said, she has children, and I don't, so things were kind of like up in the air when we switched shifts. When she switched shifts, our time was limited. And then she had, like, her new little boo, and so you know how they go. Anyway, so, yeah, um, so I end up, I end up, we end up linking up one day, I admit me, Bird, and my best friend end up meeting up at this Mexican spot. I was introducing the two. And so I was like, yeah, y'all, I'm thinking about planning a trip for my birthday. What do y'all think? And I was telling Bird about it. I had already told, mentioned it to Bird. Like, I want to do a trip for my birthday. I had even started looking up flights. I already had picked a hotel. Basically, y'all, I had already, like, paid for our flight and the hotel or whatever. I think. No, I hadn't paid for the hotel, but I basically paid for the flight. Y'all. I've never been a person just just try to. I'm not gonna say I'm not a giving person, but for me to be the type of friend to want to like spend my money on you, that speaks volumes of what I think about you. And I paid for all three of our flights, and I only did this because I asked Bert. I said, "Are you sure you want to go on this trip?" She like, yeah, girl, I'm excited. I'm really ready to go. I've been wanting to go. So, because we was going to Vegas. I don't know if I mentioned that. So, I've been really wanting to go to Vegas. And I'm now going to get my chance. Blase, blase, blase. I'm like, okay, cool. So, lead up into the trip. She's throwing out little stole hints like, yo, I don't know if I'm going to have my money yet. Like, she's like, I got to take care of this. But I should be, nah, I should be good. I should be good. I got to. Right, is money going to be a situation for you? Like, is. I'm like, you sure you want to go on this trip? She's like, yeah. I'm good. My mama, she got me. If, I, if I'm sure, she's going to make sure I'm good. Make sure I'm having enough money to spend. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. You know, I kind of like already had stuff like planned. And they weren't going to have to spend just too much money on crazy things. Because me, I am not a, a traveler that likes to shop. Like, I buy souvenirs and things like that. And every now and then, I may want to purchase something, you know. But it may have like where I've been I don't know. Like, I, every now and again, I may want to purchase something from a place. But I'm not a big shopper. They wasn't big shoppers. So, it's like, we was going to go party. We basically was going to go to Vegas and party. And it's January, basically. It's kind of cool in Vegas. So, you know. But we didn't care. We was going to be dressed up looking good. And we didn't care if we was partying in the cold. <laughs> but, yes. You know, they got clubs on the inside. <laughs> so, yeah. We was going to Vegas. 
you know, to just go gamble a little bit, eat good, and party. And I wanted to go to Vegas because around this time of the year, it's not overly crowded with a whole bunch of tourists. Um, it's just not super crowded anywhere you go. It's going to be nice, chill, and relaxed. Because I was going to party, you know, club a little bit, eat good, gamble a little bit, and just, you know, relax with my girls, get in the pool and all that. Like, it was just going to be one of those trips because that's what I wanted to do. So, fast forward, a couple weeks before the trip, she's like, oh. um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really just go like that with a lot of money, but you said we're not going to do this in a third, so I should be good, right? I should be, I said, I said, yeah, you should be cool, you know, um, I said, and Ian said, I said, you won't have to like pay for Uber or no stuff like that, because I don't mind splitting that, because in Vegas around this time, Uber was cheap as hell to get to certain places, like, it was so cheap, y'all, this was before COVID and all that, like, Uber was cheap. Um, so I'm like, I'll pay for that, all that little type of stuff. You won't have to worry about that. Just make sure you got some money if we go eat it, if we go to the club, whatever. I said, but nine times out of ten, we can go to the club, you know, it push come to shove before they start charging a large amount of money. So you're gonna be good. I'm gonna make sure you straight I'm not gonna let you come nowhere and not be able to eat and things like that. I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna leave you stranded. Like, cause during this time, y'all, I, I was I was pretty well off. Like I was making a nice, um, I was making a nice salary at this job that we had. A pretty good salary. And then around this time, y'all, I had a pretty, I had a really good salary. Um, my best friend was making good money. And even she was making good money because we were like leads at our job. And the leads at our job, everybody know that they make really good money. At this job so I'm not understanding you stay in the apartment you don't have any children you don't have big responsibilities this that, and that. She, I like I said she told me about things she had going on you like we was close so I know she didn't have a lot of bills so I'm not understanding what are you doing with your money are you giving it to this man because I feel like with a woman that don't have any bills really and she don't blow it on all this extra stuff she don't do a lot of shopping she probably eat a little bit she go to work at home and go out to eat it. I'm just saying she wasn't she didn't show where she can she didn't show any she didn't have anything to show where she would be spending a lot of money. So I'm not understanding what was going on with your money. That's her money. I shouldn't count her money, but I'm just confused. But anyway, so yeah, I've always felt like that about certain women. Like, where's your money? Are you giving it to a man? Because where is it going? <laughs> Oh, no, that's just me. I've always felt like that. So, anyway, so, yeah, I'm like, well, do you know? She's like, yeah, I should be cool. I should be cool. Fast forward. It's the week of the trip. Oh, tell you, I'm not going to be able to go. Y'all, the scrimp I scrimp out my mouth for this girl to keep from cussing her ass out. So, yeah, my camera died. I don't never have my stuff charged up. Anyway, so, yeah. She's like, oh, Tanya, it's the, oh, so I say, yeah, it's the week of the trip. And she's like, oh, oh Tanya, I don't think I'm going to be able to go. I thought I was going to have my money together. I mean, I got this, but I don't want to, like, come and this. Oh, and, 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 and it, it wasn't even just a money situation. It was some other reason why she had, oh. I don't really know your friend like that, so I don't feel safe. I'm like, like why would you think? She's like, I'm like, she good. It was something. No, no, no. I'm moving too fast. Uh, yeah, um. I don't know how your friend would feel if I come. I said, yeah, she, she good. She know you coming. We all sit and discuss this. What are you talking about? She's like, oh, well. Uh, yeah, it's really just the money. Like, I don't have my money together. And I don't want to be there with no money. I said, I kept asking you. I said, I asked you early on. Well, you going to be good. You knew whether or not you was going to have enough money. Like, you know. I said, you do the same thing every week. You pay the same thing. I said, this, I'm like, you said then nothing major come up to where you didn't have money. Like, you knew this. So, what's the problem? Um, I don't know. I just, I just can't go. I just can't go. Um, yeah, I just can't go. So, um, yeah, just, just, she said, just, just change my ticket to another time. We, I can use it another time. I said, okay. I said, okay, bird. Okay. So, of course, I instantly called my hunger. My best friend, I'm telling her what's going on. She like, shit. I ain't want her ass to go no damn way. I don't really like her ass. She said she funny looking any goddamn way. And I think she's faking phony. I feel like she's trying to use you. I'm like, <laughs> I said, oh, so you been feeling this way, huh? Because the way y'all, she spit that shit out her mouth, she been feeling that way. I'm like, I said, oh, is it that you jealous? You feel like um, she's going to take your place. Like, 
I me, mean, I'm blunt with my friends. I'm gonna say what I feel like they feel, what I feel like they think, and they just won't say to me. But I really don't have to worry about that best friend because she's pretty straightforward. But it be times where I think she don't say stuff because she she know I might have something to say about it. But girl, please, if you feel like that, you feel like that. I said you feel. I said because this is show how Bird was feeling. She was. It ends up. She she is very territorial. And so, when I would introduce her to people, she would be acting some type of way. And then she was like, um... Oh, I didn't know you had a best friend. How come you didn't know? I always told you about her. I said, but you don't really see her because, you know, her situation. You know, I told her about what she, you know, like she worked at night and she got kids and she got all this other stuff going on. So, you know, they couldn't really see each other. So, yeah. Anyway... We end up getting ready. We end up, I said, you know what? Fuck it. It's cool. It don't matter. I said, but what? I said, one thing she said, and I need to make sure I take her of, the bitch was like, just change my ticket to some other day. No, what we not going to do is allow you to have this free ticket. You not going to use the ticket I paid for you, and you go hang with some other bitches. Y'all, the way I canceled that shit. Yeah. You're not going to play on my face. You should have told me that, like, that you weren't going to be able to come. And I could have just, like I said, I would have been canceled the ticket. And I can use the credit later on. Because that's one thing you can't do. You can possibly use the credit later on or get your money back depending on how you pay for it. And if you got insurance, this and the third. I ended up just using my credit later on. So, yeah. I canceled that, y'all. And she must have tried to, y'all, go somewhere else. Because she ended up saying, like, so what, what you end up doing with that ticket, like... She said, I tried to look it up or whatever, but I didn't see anything. She's like, so, um, what happened with the ticket? I said, oh, bitch, you thought you got off, huh? I said, I canceled the fucking ticket. Why would I keep a ticket there and you not come on a trip? I said, I could. I said, I was going to invite somebody else to come. I said, but you know what? Me and best friend, we just kicked it. We had a wonderful time, y'all. The time we down there, you know how you post pictures on Instagram or whatever like that. Matter of fact, I actually still had my Facebook up. So I'm posting pictures on my Facebook, whatever. This bitch... Leaving laughing emojis and just reacting to the photos. And I'm like, don't do too much. Like, why are you doing all that? You know, I'm saying this to myself. I'm not even really feeding it to it. I'm showing best friend. She's like, this hate hey, jealous ass bitch. I'm like, that's exactly what it is. Because why are you doing all that? You could have been on this trip. What it is, you a jealous broke ass bitch. And you and you and your feelings don't get mad. I said, I, 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 I told you that come with whatever you had and I was going to make sure you good for the rest of it. And I get you want to have your own money, but you ain't got to do all that funny shit because you feeling some type of way. And so I called her ass on it. And then she ended up breaking it. So when I got back, you know, I called her up. And I'm like, what was all that shit you were doing online about? You ain't got to do all that. I said, you could have came on a trip, but you chose to not come. I said, but you're doing way too much. She was like, mm. I didn't even know you had a best friend. Um, and It don't fucking matter. She said, I didn't want to come because I felt like you was going to be making fun of with me. I said, why the fuck would I invite you on a trip with me? And treat you like you ain't shit. I said, and you worried about the wrong things. You was coming on the trip for me. We was coming for my birthday. So all that other shit you should have just left out the window. Left that shit back in Memphis. I didn't need you to bring that negative energy on the trip no way. So I'm glad your ass didn't come. So yeah, she feeling some type of way like I didn't even know. It don't fucking matter whether I picked her up off the street. You should have trust me enough as your friend to know that I would never bring you into a situation to make you feel uncomfortable. Why would I invite you somewhere and treat you like shit? And this is before people started really popping out treating their friends like dog shit. So now you got women that be really bringing women on trips and they trying to plot to kill them. But this wasn't even that type of party. And she knew I went on that type of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, she couldn't have thought that because that ain't what came out of her mouth. I just think she thought I was going to be acting all funny because we got a bond that me and her don't have. Baby, this is a grown-ass woman. You got a childish-ass mind. She ain't on that type of time. Granted, she don't like your ass. Because of how you you trying to play me. But you worried about the wrong things. Y'all, I didn't talk to this girl for like so months after this shit. Because I'm like, you was worried about the wrong shit. You was doing way too much. Then you all online doing all that childish shit. That ain't even me. When I'm having a situation with somebody, a friend, whoever, I don't get on social media and broadcast our business. That's something I do not do. 
I've had people go on there and try to bash me, run my name to the ground. But one thing I did not do was feed into the shit that they posted online. Because how you feel about me and none of my business, and somebody might have showed me or told me, you the person on there looking like you sweating that shit. You the one online <laughs> in your fitness, baby. I done moved on. I see you, though. And I'm going to remember that shit. But, baby, you the one like you on there sweating it. Because I'm not sweating it. <laughs> you the one looking like you pressed. Is what they say, right? I'm not pressed, baby. What's done is what's done. What happened is what happened. We can't take that shit back. Let's move on. If we ever become cool again, which I doubt for me, we're going to become cool again. And I'm not talking about just bird. I'm just talking about with anybody. I doubt it. Because once I cut your ass off, when I say I'm done, I'm done, done. You're going to know it. You're going to feel it. And they always do. Even bird. But anyway, so yeah, y'all. <laughs> We didn't talk for a while after that, but of course, you know, we got back cool again. And I'm going to give y'all another story time about her ass, too. Like I said, she's a toxic narcissist, too. She wasn't very, I don't, I don't know, I ain't going to say she was narcissistic to me, but she was very narcissistic to some other people and shit, especially the men she dated. She just tried to play me, and I honestly feel like she was secretly envious of things in my life. And, you know, just by some of the things she used to say, you know, and I'm sure I want to talk about some situations. But, yeah, I don't understand why, because, baby, I don't have a lot. <laughs> I just probably make it look good. I mean, you got to make it look good. I've always been like that. But, anyway, y'all, I'm going to stop this right here. That's just my introduction about Bird. And I'll probably just make a little series about Bird, too, because why not? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's just the introduction to her toxicity. Just put it like that. Again, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in with me. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Like, I see you, big sis. I love the story time. A dog, a cat, it is all appreciated, y'all. Leave a heart that y'all like to leave. 100 whatever <laughs> if you want to talk about the type of toxic ass friends people you've had in your life that's cool too again y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in with me it is greatly appreciated and i'll see you all in my next video bye